Hello and welcome back to the Mordium Gaming Channel. My name is Mordium4975 and today we're going to be going through my top 10 vehicle uh, predictions for the December 2019 DLC. Uh, so before we get into the video, I will just give you a quick uh, one minute update on what is actually happening with that DLC. So if you've not been following any news on GTA recently, this December we are going to be getting another DLC in GTA 5. There's been one every year since uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 released, so it makes sense that Rockstar will be releasing another one this year. And up until sort of a couple of days ago, we didn't really know what the theme was going to be. I predicted that it was going to be a naval DLC, but unfortunately that's been completely ruled out. So it's not a naval DLC. Instead, it is likely to be a casino heist DLC. So the previous DLC was the Diamond Casino and Resort, which I'm sure many of you know. And I think what Rockstar want to do is continue the storyline from that DLC on in this uh, 2019 festive December DLC. And obviously they'll tie in all the usual holiday content. And the theme has been highly speculated that it's going to be a casino heist DLC. So that's just a quick update. Um, for the previous DLC, I made a top 10 vehicle prediction uh, list and you guys really seem to like that so I decided I would do another one for this DLC. My first vehicle prediction in the casino DLC we got a lot of SUVs well we got an, an SUV the Lampadati Novak and Rockstar seemed to be adding a lot of a lot of SUVs at the moment, and also a lot of electric cars in GTA Online. So with that in mind, my first car is the Tesla Model X. Now, there is actually a mod for this car. I think it's created by Vanilla Works, which, if you don't know who they are, they're a mod company that makes mods for GTA 5. And they have made a Tesla Model X sort of mod like a law friendly version of it for GTA 5 called the Coil Tyrannis and I'll have a picture of them both up on screen the real one and the Coil Tyrannis so you can see what it could look like in GTA Online and also what it looks like in real life so not much to say about this it's an electric SUV and I think people will like it Number two on my list is a new supercar that I think came out in this year, in 2019, and that is the Lamborghini Egoista. Now, um, we know Rockstar like to add a lot of hypercars and concept cars, so this is a brand new hypercar, a Lamborghini hypercar, so it will be under the Pegasi brand, uh, which is Lamborghini in GTA. And I don't know what it would be called. They would change it up a little bit. But I'll have a picture of the car on screen for you. So you can see what it looks like. Personally I don't really like this car. But it is a new hype car. And I could see Rockstar adding it. At number 3 on the list. We have sort of a strange one. Um, but I looked back at the cars that they added with the Casino DLC. And I thought with the new release of the... De Classe Peyote Gasa, this one would also be a really cool one, and it's the, the Hooney truck, the uh, Jim Carner Hooney truck driven by Ken Block. So we already have the, um, the Hooney Corn, which is the Drift Tamper, which is Ken Block's Drift Ford Mustang. That's a really cool car. I don't see many people driving it, but I think a lot of people like the car and do own the car. So if we got a Hooney truck, in GTA Online, I definitely think people would buy it. And GTA Wise Guy has actually made a mod for this um, using the Yosemite, uh, which is a muscle pickup truck. So I'll have a picture again of them both up on screen, the real one, and GTA Wise Guy's mod, so you can see what it could look like. Um, I don't know what they'd call it, probably just the Drift Yosemite, or they might add a completely new car. But it is a really cool car in real life. 
and I think people would like it in GTA as well. At number four, we have the Koningsegg Regera. Um, so this has been featured in the Crew 2, actually. Um, it, it came out a while ago in the Crew 2. Um, but it's the kind of car that Rockstar would like to add. They've been adding a few more overflowed cars into GTA Online, which if you don't know, that's the GTA version of Koningsegg. They've been adding a few more cars from that brand, so I could definitely see them adding a Regera. It's a really cool hyper car. It makes an awesome noise, and it has a really cool um, active aero spoiler on the back as well, which is another thing that Rockstar like. So the Koningsegg Regera, they could price it really high as well, and it's the kind of car that people really like, so I could definitely see that one being added. At number five, we have the Chevrolet Corvette C3. And um, I've got a mod for this one as well. This was also created by the Vanilla Works team. And they've called it the Invetero Phobus. So, sort of a strange name. Um, but it's a really cool car. Again, I'll put a picture of the mod and the real car so you can see what it would look like. We already have the C2, uh, which is the the Coquette Classic, and we also have a new Coquette, which is the, um, I think it's just called the Coquette, the Invetero Coquette. Uh, they're both really cool cars, but I would love to see a C3 Corvette. Um, it's quite an iconic car. It's the kind of car that Rockstar would like to add. Um, and we've already seen mods created by the community, so... I think Rockstar definitely listen to the community and try and add cars that they want. And this is another really cool car. At number six, we have another of GTA Wise Guys mods, and that is the classic Beetle, uh, which uh, GTA Wise Guy has called the BF Ladybird. So, again, I'll put a picture of them both up on screen. This is a really cool car, actually. I've been wanting a classic Beetle in GTA Online for a while. It's a really cool car in real life, and I really like the BF Ladybird that GTA Wise Guys made. It's really cool, and it's the kind of car that I can see Rockstar adding. At number seven, we have a car, actually, from GTA 4. So, in real life... It's the Sierra Cosworth, the Ford Sierra Cosworth. And in GTA 5, that is the Vapid Uranus. Now, it was a car that was in GTA 4. It's a really cool car. It's a classic British car that, you know, Rockstar have been adding loads of classic sort of European type cars at the moment. It's a really cool car, and I definitely know that people would buy this car. And I just can't understand why they haven't already added it. I don't understand why it wasn't in the game from base. But it's a really cool car, it's the kind of car that would fit with this theme, and I definitely could see them adding it. At number 8, we have the 1966 Ford GT40, which was also on my previous list. Um, this would be called the Vapid Bullet Classic. Now, it didn't come out in the last DLC, I thought it might, and the reason I thought it might is because of a new movie and that was the um, Le Mans 66 Ford vs Ferrari film. And at the time that hadn't been released, but it was in the news a bit. It was a really cool sort of upcoming movie. And I thought, hey, Roxanne, I might have seen this and they might add the car. Unfortunately, they didn't. But as I'm recording this video, that um, movie has now come out. So Rockstar may have seen that car. And they may have thought, hey, we didn't add it in the last DLC. It's a really cool car. It's a classic Vapid Bullet. People will buy this. We can price it quite highly. Uh, so let's add it to the game. So it's definitely the kind of car that I could see them adding. They like to add classic variants of existing cars in the game. So the Vapid Bullet Classic would be really cool. And as I said, they can price it quite highly. Bad for us, but good for Rockstar. So... Definitely a car that I could see being added because of the new Le Mans 66 Ford vs Ferrari film. At number 9 we have the uh, 2019 Charger Hellcat, the Dodge Charger Hellcat. This is a really cool car in real life, definitely one of my dream cars. Um, 
but in the Casino DLC, I predicted that we were going to get a Dodge Demon, which we did actually get. That was the new Gauntlet Hellfire, and that is a really, really cool car. Um, the, the Gauntlet Hellfire, it's really fast, it's got good customization. People really, really like that car when it came out, especially me. Um, I'm a muscle car guy, so I, I just fell in love with that car. And because of the support that car received in GT Online, I can definitely see Rockstar adding a Charger Hellcat or a Buffalo Hellfire. So the new Charger in GT Online is the Buffalo. The Buffalo hasn't had an update since the base. We got the Buffalo and the Buffalo S, which is Franklin's car. Um, from base and we've had no updates since base so I can definitely see Rockstar adding a Hellfire version of the Buffalo maybe a wide body I've got a mod on screen for you now of what it could look like um, because Rockstar at the moment they're going back and sort of revamping older cars in the game so we saw that with the Dominator GTX and also the Gauntlet Hellfire, so I definitely can see them going back and adding a Buffalo Hellfire. And the final car on my list, it's a little bit of a jokey car, but it's definitely a car I would like to see in GT Online, and that is the classic Reliant Robin. So, it's not the kind of car you would buy for looks, it's not the kind of car you would buy for performance, but it's the kind of meme car that people really enjoy in GTA, and I think everyone will end up buying this car. It's sort of like the Panto, in that it's so small that everyone wants to buy it. This thing, if it had three wheels, everyone would really like to buy it. And the reason I've actually put it on this list, not just because I want to see this car, but because in the Casino DLC, Rockstar decided to add another three-wheeler into the game. So it was our third three-wheeler in the game with the Raptor, the Chimera, and now the Rampant Rocket. So we know that Rockstar wants to add more three-wheelers to the game. And this is the, probably the most iconic three-wheeler in the world. So I can definitely see them wanting to add another three-wheeler in the December DLC. And I thought, yeah, the Robin Reliant is definitely a car that Rockstar would like to add. But anyway, that is going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have, smash that like button and also subscribe if you are new. And also, don't forget to let me know in the comment section what cars do you think will be coming out in the December DLC. Do you think my predictions will be correct? Do you think there's any cars I've missed? And do you think there's any cars that we already have in GT Online that maybe I've sort of overlooked? But that is going to be it with the video. Thank you and I'll see you all next time.